Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. So I'm working my way through our viewer requested suggestions. And this one is, hello Cap and Co, how do we get it so that we can have an AI Reaper or similar uh, JTAGing for us, lazing tar finding targets, lazing targets and stuff like that. So we're gonna go in and show you how to do that. Now, as far as I'm aware, you can't do this just using the mission ed editor API. This is going to, we're going to have to use external script. There's no way we can get around with it. We're gonna have to use the script MISC. We're gonna have to use the script JTAG auto lays that are freely available and open source. Don't let the scare you off. It's, it sounds complex, it's actually not. All the work is done for you, basically. This script's free for anyone to download and really easy to understand. So first of all, you need the links to download these two scripts. We've got Mist here. Uh, if I describe Mist as basically a core script file that lets us allows us to use other scripts, so it's something you've just got to put in. Uh, and the JTAG auto lays is the script that does the intelligence for the auto lazing. So I will keep these links in the video description so you can go and find them. So let's go and get the first one up. Ping. And I'm just looking for it. Here it is. Here's the latest release. Click on the RAR file. Save as in my downloads area. Save done and next let's go and download the auto lay script uh, ping ping okay and i don't think we've got a file to download for auto lay so what we're going to do is click on the lua file here these are lua files that we're interested in and we're going to see if we can control a that we can't so what we're going to do then is just grab uh, text down here this is the actual syntax for the lua file if there's a better way of doing this, let us know. Let us know. This is the only way that I uh, click, click on raw. If you see, there's a button called raw. Roger. That's just giving me... Okay. And just control A, the whole thing. Uh, right, so I can raw, left, control and A to copy. Uh, sorry, just select all, left, control and C to copy. And then we're going to open Notepad++, which should be a standing working tool for all of you. Do not try and use Notepad. Nopa plus plus only. Uh, so we've got that there, and now we're going to save that. So save as. We're going to go to downloads, which is going to be. Uh, I'm going to have to try and find that now. Uh, this PC downloads, and we're going to call it. Uh, what was it? JTAC. Exact syntax as this. JTAC auto lays, and this is going to go to all files if we've got it. All files there, and we're going to go. Dot L U A save. Right, I took a lot, of, a little bit of doing. Let's get rid of that. Let's go and have a look in our downloads area. So go to downloads. We've now got mist, which is a raw file. So I'm going to go in there, copy that, paste it there. I'm now going to delete the raw file. So what we've ended up with in our downloads area is mist lua file, which you can click on and look through it in basic Notepad if you want, and it's basic programming language. It sets various arguments and uh, contains functions. And we've got JTAC auto lays here, just double click, make sure it looks okay. It all looks okay to me. So that was how we did it. Uh, next, we need to go into DCS and actually use these two files. So we're going to jump into DCS. Right, mission editor, new mission, caucuses, go. Uh, first thing we're going to do, just put down the infrastructure in the, uh, the missions. So we're going to put down some baddies. Bunch of baddies there, look, they're going to be aggressors. Next, we're going to put down our Reaper drone, which is going to be a USAF. It's going to be reconnaissance. It's going to be Reaper drone. Like that. He is going to fly at 16,000 feet at 150 knots. He's going to go to there. Once he's there, he is going to orbit. That's the wrong thing to do. Once he's there, he's going to orbit so this is all standard stuff covered in my other videos so i'm not going to dwell on any any of this you should, uh, everyone should know this stuff okay uh i'm gonna make him the right faction blue got to give him a group name that is i'll tell you exactly what to call him call him this call him jtac1 if there's another guy call him jtac2 and so on uh, just take my word for it it just works better like that okay uh, blue just see how far away he is one mile away so what he's going to do is program to appear, get to that point there, then orbit until he runs out of fuel, basically, and he's doing the job of reconnaissance. Okay, I need to put a plane in for me now. It's going to be this. It's going to be USA F... Uh, how about an F5? And it's going to be... What are they? GBUs. It's going to be client. Okay. 
and let's just save that as AIJ tag. All right, I'm going to set some mission options before I forget. I'm going to. I want to be able to see all of the hostiles. And easy communications. It's going to allow us to communicate to the Reaper a lot easier. I don't think you have to use communi easy communications. You can probably do it directly through your radio without easy communications. But if you're going to do that, remember to set a radio frequency up for this guy here. In fact, why don't we just show you doing that as well? So back to his waypoint one. Uh, actions is going to be uh, perform command. Set radio freak for the group. Uh, whatever, 131 alpha mic, a power of 10 watts. Uh, okay, that's that. Next, we need to start doing the scripting. We can't get out of it, so we're just going to do it. Trigger system. First trigger we'd have to do load is miss. So we're going to go new. We're going to go mission on, mission start once. Uh, no conditions, new. We're going to go do script file. That file is open. And um, navigate to where you save those lure files. Uh, I've already got it into the right area here. I'm going to load up missed. That's missed loaded. We need a few seconds for that to load. So what we, the next thing we do is new. And to load up JTAC auto lays, we're going to go on the condition that time is more than four seconds. So it gives four seconds to load miss. Then we're going to load JTAC auto lays. New. Load script file. Find it. And select JTAC auto lays. Okay, that's both scripts loaded into memory now. Uh, technically actually loaded into the, well, Memory and the mission. Memory and the mission. Um, correction. Uh, when you do the the triggers, right, it doesn't actually load them, the the dwarf files into the mission, the miss file yet. You have to save it. Uh, save run. It. You have to run the mission at least once. Hmm. With the uh, prepare mission uh, on the. Uh, the top. Roger. I was unaware of that, but there you go. Uh, next thing, so that's both uh, loaded, or in theory they will be loaded. Uh, next, we're going to go to new. So we've loaded the the the, the lures. Um, what we need to now do is make calls, make function calls from those lures, so they actually do something. Okay, so we're going to go new under the condition of time is more than eight. Uh, time is more than eight seconds, so it goes four seconds to load JTAC or Teles. And the action is going to be, first of all, what we'll do is um, do script. So not do script file, do script. And we're going to type in JTAC auto lays. You have to get a, a spelling right. And there's every good chance I might get the spelling wrong, in which case we'll come back and debug it. Uh, just going to quickly check on my notes, actually. Okay. So, yeah, I think I've spelled that right. It's the English S rather than Z. Open argument bracket. Uh, we need, first of all, that and then the name of the unit we call it JTAC1 close that string comma for the next argument which is going to be the laser code you want him to laser on uh, 1688 because that's the standard code for the F5 and then we're going to close brackets there we can add more arguments to that if we want to refine uh, but we'll have a look at that in a bit in fact no let's have a look at it now let's open up next argument next argument is whether you want him to smoke the target or not so I'm going to put true Next argument is what type of units we want him to laze. Only armor, only troops, whatever. Um, I'm just going to say all like that. Okay. Uh, so, and then they close the, close the function. So, what we're calling from within JTA auto lays is um, with JTA auto lays with on that unit there, JTAC1, add that laser code there. We do want him to smoke. And we want him to laze all types of targets, uh, ground targets only, obviously. Okay, and that's all that done. In fact, why don't we just to make sure to prove we can put a message on there on that same uh, trigger message to all JTAC one. I don't know, uh, loaded something like that, just to prove to us that um, uh, it's worked. So we're going to go and run this now. The first thing that usually happens is it doesn't work because you've made a syntax error or something. Uh, so we're going to try that out. Uh, save. Off we toot. Fingers crossed it will work first time. In we go. So already um, mists must have loaded. And JTAC auto lays must be loading about now. If there's any problems with loading those scripts, we'll get an error. And we've got, in fact, we just analyze that quickly. 
So both scripts have loaded and the do script has happened because JTAC is now lazy. JTAC1 is the name of our guy. He's now lazing a new target. Is, the target is an AAV7 on a code of 1168. It's our laser code uh, at northing and easting uh, in decimal minutes, I think. And an MG, MGRS of that. And our little message there that the JTAC1 has loaded. So he's loaded. If we want to interrogate him again. So let's just say we're going to fly off into the distance. Let that message settle. If we want to interrogate him again, you can press the communications key, we can press F10 for other, we can press JTAC status F1, and you can see he's currently targeting that guy there, lazing on that code there, all ready to go. Uh, and because we've turned smoke on, we'll get a lovely big smoke, there it is in fact. So what we'll do is get a nice distance away, and go and drop a bomb on him. And that should do, turning in. Okay, doing this with the F5 can be a little bit awkward, so I'm going to have my best guess when to release, and I'm going to release it now and level myself out and view the bomb fingers crossed she gets guidance she's got guidance and you can see that is the vehicle there that's currently being laid make sure I'm not going to crash I'm good follow the bomb right I've set a tail fuse I hope that's right fingers crossed yay right and you can see it's now automatically moved on to the next target it's already lazing, so what we're going to do next is go round. I'm just going to set my pylons up. Uh, burners on. Fly away. Turn back in. 22,000 feet. Don't need to be that high. Give the bomb plenty of energy with plenty of speed. Did I change my pylons? I hope I did. I think I did. Still got a uh, tail fuse. Okay. Going to level out. Plenty of energy in that bomb and drop. Uh -huh, I can see the Reaper there, look. Oh, I wonder if I can get a shot with me going past the Reaper. That would be cool. Check the bomb. And we've got guidance. And rinse and repeat. That is how you set up a JTAC. And he's going to move on to his next target now. Um... Anything uh, you want to add to that onslaught? Mm, nope, that's pretty much how the uh, auto lease JTAC. Lovely. Well, I hope you, uh, that was useful. Like I said, I'll put the useful links in the video description and we'll see you later.